In this video, we're going to learn how to merge multiple path files into a single Roots magic file. This is actually pretty common. We get asked this question quite a bit. Uh, people will have multiple path files, each one with a different family line, uh, line of ancestors, and they would like to merge these into a single Roots magic file for whatever reason. Sometimes it's to keep things better organized or uh, to be able to print out reports, whatever a variety of reasons why people would want to do this. Well, the good news is that Roots Magic makes it very easy to do. Okay, the first thing we need to do is look at an example file. Here we have Howard Smith. Okay, howardsmith.path. This has Howard Smith, his ancestors, his son James, and then his wife. Floridel, but you'll see that we don't have any ancestors for Floridel. That's because all of her ancestors are in a separate path file called Floridel Jones, which has Floridel and her ancestors. So we've been keeping these two files separate for a while. We're making the jump to Roots Magic, and we would like to merge them into one master file. Now, we could keep working with them separately in Roots Magic as separate files, but if we want to merge them, here's how we do it. Now that we're in Roots Magic, the first thing we want to do is to import all of our path files. So these two path files that we have, we want to import them as separate Roots Magic files. Because we already uh, have another video that explains the process of moving your data from Path into Roots Magic. I'm just going to go over these next few steps very quickly. But basically, I'll go to File, Import, I'm going to choose a Path file. I know where the file is, and I'm going to choose HowardSmith.Path. First, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this Smith Master File. I'm just choosing this. Howard Smith file since it had more people in it. I'm just going to call this my new Smith master file. Click OK. And here we go. Here is Howard Smith from uh, Path. We have Howard, we have James, and we have Floridel with none of her ancestors. Now we're going to go ahead and import the file for Floridel. Choose the floridelljones.path file. And this time for a file name, I'm going to call it Floridel Temporary because I'm, I want to remember that this is not a working file. Okay, so now I have both files. I have my master file with Howard Smith and his information is here on the right. And I have Floridel, Floridel's file here on the left with all of her ancestors. Now I want to bring this information from Floridel's file into my master file. How I'm going to do that is using drag and drop. You may have used drag and drop before with, say, files and folders on your computer, where you basically hold down your mouse button onto a file. And while you're holding it down, move the mouse cursor into a folder, and you let go of the mouse button. And then that will copy or move a file from one place to another on your computer. Well, you can do something very similar in Roots Magic, only with people. So I'm going to choose Floridel Jones in this file. I'm going to click on my mouse button. I'm holding down my mouse button. And as I move to the other file, notice how that little mouse pointer, how it looks like there's a piece of paper or something attached to it. I'm going to move my mouse button or mouse cursor. I'm holding down the mouse button all the time. I haven't let go yet. I'm going to move it right on top of Floridel Jones. And then I let go of the mouse button. And then it says drag and drop. Who do you want to copy to the other database? Okay, and I'll say I want to bring over ancestors and their children. And then I want to be sure to check this option. It says are Floridel Jones and Floridel Jones the same person? Yes. And ta da! It says copied 60 people. And now if I look in my master file, I've got Floridel Jones and I have all of her ancestors. Uh, it's, this is very much like uh, pruning and grafting branches from one tree to another. Okay, now I just click on my temporary Floridel file. I will go to File, then Delete, and then click Yes, I want to delete this database. And I'm just 
I want to make sure I'm deleting the temporary database, not my master file. And the reason I want to delete that is just so that it keeps it a little bit cleaner on my computer so I don't have a bunch of these temporary files floating around. So now on my master file I have all my pieces brought together. You could do this with more than two files. If you had any number of files that you want to bring together you could do that. Just keep importing each file, drag and drop the pieces into place into your master file. Likewise, you could do something very similar if you wanted to split a file into multiple pieces. What you would do then is, is uh, just create a new empty Roots Magic file and drag and drop the branches, drag and drop exactly which pieces into a new file to separate them out into separate branches. But that's how you merge multiple path files into one Roots Magic file.